I have created a simple project to show you how to write text file using Java. Within the project, I have created empty destination directory. So when the file output is created, we can see it within the project. So let's go through the code. To write to a text file in Java, we need to create a buffered writer object. As you can see on line 8, I have created a buffer writer object by saying new buffer writer and then passing a relevant argument. Buffer writer class takes file writer object as an argument. In line 7, I have shown example of how to create a file writer object. File writer takes file destination path and the boolean as an argument. This boolean value lets user decide if they want to append to the file or they want to overwrite the file. File destination path can either be the absolute file path or could be the respective path from the directory. In my case, the destination directory is part of the project. That's why I have provided a respective path from the source of the directory and I have provided the file name. Because our destination directory is empty, when we will execute the program, the file writer class will create the file and then write to it. If file is already present, buffer writer class will just open the existing file and write to that. Once we have buffer writer object created successfully, we can just write the text using the write function. I'm going to write a couple of lines just to show you how it works. After writing is finished, it is advisable to flush the data. Sometime when you write the data, the data is not actually written to the file. They may be held into the buffer until buffer is full. In multi-client programming, it is possibility that other client is trying to read the data that you have just written. If data is held into the buffer and not being written, then the other client will miss out on the data. So by calling the flush command, we are forcefully writing the data into the file. Once writing is complete, we must close the file. If we forget to do that step, it is possible that our file will not be able to be accessed by other program if they want to modify or write to the file. I have added a simple print line command to confirm that our program executes successfully. So let's run the program. Select our main class and run it as a Java application. As you can see, it prints file is written successfully. That means program ran without any error. Let's refresh our destination directory. As you can see, test.txt file is created. If I open it, it definitely written strings that we wanted to write. Because we have selected file writer to be overwriting the text, if I change the text here and run the same program again, you will notice that our old data is lost and we have written file from completely scratch. If I make this flag to be true and then run the same program again, you will notice that now data is appended. So here is how you write text file in Java. Thank you for watching.